Well, Robbinsdale may be a town of only 14,000 people, but some of its restaurants have been able to thrive despite its population size. Now Main Street has another destination for people looking to grab a bite to eat. In today's Business Matters, Delane Cleveland introduces us to the Bird Town Cafe, whose owner has high hopes for the city's future. Downtown Robbinsdale has many of the amenities a person could ask for. It's a really great mix. A bank, a drugstore, a gym. Every small town in America usually has a cafe on the main street. Yet a traditional breakfast place is one thing the city didn't have. That is until Brad Eagle has opened Birdtown Cafe. It's been really good. The, the community is uh, definitely supporting it. Uh, this past weekend was extremely busy, way busier than we ever expected, which is great. The restaurant specializes in basic breakfast and lunch items. I've been doing it my whole life. It's all I know. Eagles has been in the restaurant industry for 25 years, and he thinks the simplicity will equal success. Very simple menu, very simple food, and you know, homemade good food is what it's about. The concept of good food has certainly brought more people to the city, as evidenced by the crowds who pack nearby Travail on a nightly basis. Birdtown Cafe is one of several restaurants here along West Broadway Avenue, along with Nana Rosa's and Travail. Members of the Robbinsdale Chamber of Commerce say that each of these places is helping to revitalize the city. I'd like to say it started with our opening at Nona Rosa's uh, shortly after the lodge opened and the travail opened. So um, that was all in a relatively short period of time two years ago. Tina Sulia owns Nona Rosa's restaurant but also helps recruit new businesses to the area. It's just really unique to find such wonderful things in the same area where you can have a bite to eat, take a walk, and then go shopping too. So far, she says things are going well, citing budding retail spots as examples. It's never hard to hear when people are raving about our restaurant in Robbinsdale or the fact that Robbinsdale is such a great spot right now. So we hope to continue that uh, momentum and, and build on it as we're able. That momentum is something Eagles hopes to capitalize on. I think the future is bright for the town for sure. In Robbinsdale, Delane Cleveland, 12 News. The Birdtown Cafe offers what's called a fillet skillet challenge. It consists of a large skillet filled with hash browns, 10 scrambled eggs, 6 pieces of sausage, 6 pieces of bacon, 6 pieces of toast with peanut butter, and a slice of ham. Six people have tried the challenge, <laughs> all have failed. That is a little bit extreme. That's a little long of a list, uh, but only six have tried it. Somebody will. Eventually, I suppose. I don't want to be there to see it. Well,